An investigation is underway to determine the cause of a fire at the Riverton City Landfill in St. Andrew. Up to news time, firefighters and personnel from the National Solid Waste Management Authority, the NSWMA, were battling the blaze at a section of the facility. Vash and Brown visited the area today and filed this report. Now, the fire started here at the Riverton City Dump sometime after one this afternoon. Now, if you look behind me, you will see the area where the fire started. Now, throughout the day, firefighters and others worked feverishly to put out the blaze. The National Solid Waste Management Authority says it had material stored in the area which helped to contain the fire in this section. The team was on to the protocol as quickly as possible. Fire department was called in. We do have a lot of cover material on our site. We store cover material for days like these. We have the um, equipment that are assigned to the disposal site. We do contract equipment to spread and compact garbage so we could easily divert them to this um, special operation now to fight the fire. And so all that kicked in and I'm happy to report that as we speak, we have successfully completed um, putting out one of the sites and then we are on to the second site now which we are hoping that by nightfall we should be able to put that one under control. Now I've come to another section of the disposal site where you can see thick plumes of smoke. Now it is not enough to wear a regular mask in this area but this is the area where some tires that were removed from the incoming garbage were being stored. Tires are some of the things that come on the truck to the landfill also. We do separate the tires when they reach the disposal site and today a few of the tires that came in um, um, caught fire um, in, that, in that incident. Now the Saharan dust that's in the area is also further complicating matters for the residents. For the people battling the blaze though, they say they encountered challenges. What created the near mayhem is the fact that the wind was very strong. So what started at one point soon become two points. And so we're battling two fronts, if you will. Fires on the disposal site happen regularly. You have something called spontaneous combustion. A number of different um, things can happen at the disposal site. A cell phone battery once caused fire at the disposal site. A number of things. Reporting from Riverton, I'm Bashan Brown for TVJ News.